Alright everybody, welcome back to the Mofa project. And uh, today we're going to be fixing the little bits here and there. So we're going to fix this uh, coloration right here and then we're going to add a blur uh, a blur on it and then uh, we're going to move on to the next part of the drawing which is going to be probably right here. So we're going to add some more grass to it. Or well, or leaves to it, not grass. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, let's get started, shall we? Uh, today, actually, my dog actually got uh, got himself stuck outside. I have no idea how that happened, but apparently the... Well, I knew how it happened, but apparently the... Um, one of the things that uh, went on was that he... Uh, it, it, we have uh, anti-fly... Um, how do you say that? Anti-fly lines or something like that? Well, the, the things are that normally are like, you know put uh, over the uh, uh, on the back of the door to keep away the uh, keep away the mosquitoes and the flies and all that stuff well those things actually uh, that actually um, was uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, was stuck on the entrance where the dog was supposed to be entering so he got stuck and he was like hey get me out it is freezing outside so I helped him out, and then after that he was like, oh my god, thank you, thank you so much, and then he was way too happy. I noticed that as well. Um, so today we're going to be doing this. Um, yeah, uh, I have been, by the way, I have been busy with the other drawing as well. Uh, I finally fixed the face of it, and I only need to do the hands, and then I gonna do the poncho, and then it should be all fine. Also, I've been working on the writing. Uh, I got the first sentences done, so that's all also on the way. So yeah, um, a lot of things are going on right now. Especially not 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 right now near me, but more like you know, I'm seeing that I'm doing a lot of progress, which is uh, quite good. And there you go. So yeah, um, I hope everybody is doing just fine, because, well, you know, this week has been quite exhausted already for me. Um, yesterday I actually was a little bit too exhausted to do anything, so that's why I didn't do the stream. You know, it's always important to keep your uh, breaks, and uh, knowing when the breaks are coming are very important as well. Um, now we're gonna go up, we're gonna put some lighter, lighter parts here and there. Is this the right tool? Yes, this is, this is the right tool. We should definitely put this on 25 then. Yes, exactly. Just like that. Alright. There you go. Now we should add some more lighter parts to it, like so. Alright, then we should add darker parts to it as well. should add the blend tool to it to fix all the rest of the main problems that we have. And then this should be it. Let's take a look at it. That looks lovely. And now we need to add a blur to it. So add a filter. Um, a filter mask. There you go. And now we need to do it very steadily and very calmly we need to add a 
So we're gonna slowly get the points where we want to be done. Is that blurry enough? Uh, right here is not blurry enough. All right. So that's blurry enough then, right? Yes, because it's still on the front page. Oh no, it's not on the front page. It's actually on the back page then, right? <laughs> no, this one is on the front page. Or at least I want to have this one on the front page. Because it gives a more idea of it. If I move this that way. Um, hmm. I think the additional idea was that to put this down backwards, but who? Um, we will see. We will see. We will definitely see this. All right. So if we have this right now, and we could add the part that we have right here. Yes, and then that is definitely different, right? Yes, that's much more different. All right, good. So um, now that we are done with this uh, part of the drawing, which took like probably only seven minutes. Yeah, seven minutes indeed. Uh, we're going to move now to this part right here. And the idea is that we're going to be figuring out how to do this now properly. So we have now a we have now the we have now our main uh, we have now our main uh, drawing, which is right over here, which is the first thing that we draw. All right, it's the first thing that we need to need to see, and first thing that is going to be seen right away. Now is the idea that we add more grass to uh, more uh, leaves towards it and why would we do such a thing it's because that way uh, the drawing will look more nicer because this tree right here I feel like it's a little bit empty uh, honestly and uh, I want to add that I want to add it more a tree towards the tree it is so therefore you know trees um to get that up and running um probably let's see this is all that yes this is all on the tree so we're gonna move here and we're gonna add a new part to it we're gonna put it right here so we're gonna put a new a new uh, a new tree part down and we're gonna uh, get a little bit of basic idea of what we're gonna draw um yeah uh, we want this one right here so where do we want why do I want more tree to be tree um I want actually some more tree right here I should definitely move, remove that I want some more tree right here why is that? Why do I want more tree right here? Because if I add some tree right here, that would uh, create the effect of density inside of the building itself, right? So if I move this right over there, like so, and then add more tree part here and there, so I'm going to add some more tree right now. And then we also need one more. It's gonna be right over there. That is gonna be overlapping that. So that would be it then. And then we can have this part be implemented on the back side of the tree. So when you blur this out, then yeah, we need to blur this out. So we want this part to be there. So we're gonna add some more tree parts to it. Hmm. 
Maybe not there. So if we add this to it, it would create a more denser tree, right? Yes, it would. And we want it then to be that way. Or even here. No, here is here is good enough. But then we need to put this down then we need to put this lower. just like that could work All right. so then we know now that we need uh, we need darker parts right there darker parts right there and then I need to shut down the uh, tree itself so I can then add the idea that I want so we want it like so in such a way that this will represent the tree. So and why are we doing this? This is to increase the uh, volume of the tree itself to go create more a uh, better look on the tree. It will create a more realistic approach on the tree. So since that we actually are working on this tree as well, we can just implement this effect to see how this is going to be working well on the other tree. And there is no harm working on both sides of the tree since that, you know, it still needs to be fixed anyway. A small detail problem, but uh, nothing too shabby to work around with. So we want this to be there. So this is going to be the first part. All right. It's kind of pedestal kind of effect. Nice. All right, and now we're going to give this a little bit of its own idea. Um, so yeah, we're going to put this right there and we're going to put this, oh, we're going to put this also there. So as you probably already can see, PC is having a little bit of a breakdown here, but that's because of all the trees. Um, since that we don't want these these tree, these parts of the trees are good, yeah, these parts of the trees are good. No need to be worry about them too much. No, we don't. I'm gonna be putting them into a few state, so I'm gonna be merging the group just a bit to see if that works. Probably it will work, but eh, don't have to do it yet. Looks like mom is home, so that's good. Um, doo -doo -doo. So where we're gonna be going? We're gonna go start right here, right? So we don't want this tree. We don't want this drawing to be there. We want to have the old-fashioned uh, pencil tool, and uh, we're gonna add some more uh, leaves to this part. Uh, which means that we're busy with drawing the leaves again. Of course, the only, the only, the only why, the only why why this is gonna be happening is because, well, you know, we need to fill up the empty space that is left behind from the tree, which makes the whole damn thing far more better. Uh, yeah. Nee, ik ben bezig. So, uh, there you go. Uh, we're gonna be adding the amount of stuff to it. So, we're adding the base. We're adding the base here. And we're gonna just follow these lines a bit because, well, you know, it's important. Of course, this is gonna be in the background, so therefore, you know, it's gonna be more blurry than the rest, but. It still needs to be representable. Um, the idea of this drawing actually is then to fill up the empty space, as I already told. It will create a far more realistic, more a far more realistic idea 
of the tree itself, therefore, you know, giving more, uh, more beauty towards the tree, which is necessary, you know, we, we just want to, we just want to have this tree to be re representable as the tree. We don't want this tree to be representable as a stupid piece of artwork, which, um, you know, doesn't work properly. Now the question is, do we want this to be on the background or on the foreground? This is going to be probably on the foreground, uh, on the background. So therefore we can just get this right there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We know that there is going to be things right here. So uh, that's going to be added later on. I'm going to be first adding this and then we're going to add a tree part to it as well. The tree part is also going to be blurred out because, well, it needs to be. All right. Um, so far, nothing else is going to be happening. So I'm just drawing the parts that we need to draw. And how I'm going to be drawing them, of course, you know, is always different than anything else from this, from this point on. I should definitely remove this because, well, this is a thing. So, um, the whole idea of getting this tree to be looking good and, you know, believable is important for me, especially because, well, you know, I want this, uh, I want this, I want this Morfolk to look good. And you know, making a vo making a very lush tree is very important as well. And we're still keeping with the mushroom kind of look of leaves, but uh, the more the more I do this, or well, the more I will pick up this, the more I get this thing from point A to point B, things will look far more better. Because you know, we need to fill it up. We need to fill up the leaves, and therefore, you know, we are using this kind of method. We're just filling up the leaves, filling up everything. Of course, you know, this is going to be taking quite a while because, well, it's again a big one. It's a biggie. It's a big one. It's like as big as the... So what is going to be happening is this. So we're going to fill up this part right here. This is going to be representing again. We can then see that we still have something here. So that's that's still entertaining to, uh, to see. But then this whole damn thing is going to be also there. And then, well, you know, you're gonna have far more lush, uh, uh, well, far more bigger tree to work around with, and that therefore, you know, uh, this part is covered, this coloring is covered. Uh, then, once that is done, we can then come back to the tree right over there, and fill this part, fill this baby up, to the right amount. Um, what I'm probably going to be doing is this, uh, this, I'm probably going to be changing this a little bit to a different position. So I'm going to be probably going to be getting a little more to the left side. So I'm going to be turning this a bit off and on, but for the rest, it's going to be still the same, but yeah, it's all important. Um, so now we're going to put the tree back off. And then we can just get this thing started. Um, allow me to just grab the things that I need to do. Okay, I can do this. So now it's the question like, how do we get then from point A to point B? There are multiple ways of doing this. So I'm gonna, I could possibly start here and then go upwards. But the best way to do it always is going from the down below because the more we go from below the better it gets and we should definitely follow these rough uh, drawing lines as our main vari variety lines that we need since well you know it's important that we have these variety lines in our drawing because nobody wants to watch the same rhythm all over and over and over again until you know they get bored. Um, well, you know, I do like it, but it's it's more, you know, better for most people to not do that. So therefore, you know, I'm doing this right now. As you can see, if I remove this now, you can see that that is still there. Um, this part right here needs to be fixed because this was way too 
way too uh, way too sharp drawn. There you go, much better. All right. It's funny how you know this actually works quite well, especially with the blur tool in place. It uh, it creates some kind of unique effects that might we can use later on. Especially once we're going downwards. And now, for now, we're just gonna keep on with the trees, so... Eh. No harm is done, no no need to be working around. That kind of idea. I mean, really, if, uh, if anything, this actually makes a lot of progress. Because if, well, you were working on something, making it more better, we just need to be careful not to make it too... Um, too long, so we just need to make be careful that we're not doing this all the time. But we don't have a choice in this, no matter because, well, you know, we're working on the trees, and therefore, you know, the trees need to be much more complicated. The trees need to be complicated as well as the background. Well, they need to be as complicated as the foreground because, well, um. Otherwise, they won't fit the art style. Therefore, you know, it's important that we keep up with the same art style as we as we do done before. If we don't do that, the whole thing might will fall might fall apart, and we cannot afford that to happen. If that happens, you know, we might be in a lot of trouble. So yeah, it's an important thing. All right. But yeah, the whole idea of getting this to be more like, you know, a regular drawing, it it gets there, you know. We we just we just need some more time. We just need some more um what do you say? More balancing in there. We just need some more cooking oven. If I ever want to finish this, yeah, probably in April it will be done, but holy hell, drawing things is uh, one of the things that takes always time. The coloring also takes time, yes, but it takes less time than the uh, amount of uh, stuff I'm actually doing. So, um, how do you get from point A to point B? That's the most cases. The main goal here is that we're going to go to point B. Point B is way up there, and point A is right over here. And we're doing that in a very casual way. We're just giving the right tools to the right purpose. But, of course, you know, not everybody can work with those tools, so therefore, you know, we need to figure out ways. And apparently the game thinks apparently you know the drawing software things like hey you know what is a good time to do auto save and i'm like sure thing mate auto save auto save go ahead it's not going to save you this time and why is that well because this is all about you know doing the same thing all over again it's all about textures and uh well once all these parts of the tree are fully done, we're gonna collapse all of those layers and put them into one, because... Um, how do I say that? If we don't do that, the drawing will fall apart. So by collapsing all those layers, then the drawing will be less big, therefore, you know, the PC will have less work to do, calculating every single layer that we're now working on. Also, removing all the in unnecessary layers is also very important before we do any collapsing. But yeah, it's all good and handy dandy. The same as is what I'm now doing with the other drawing. I'm now drawing the uh, one of the main bad guys, and then once the main bad guy is in the right position, I will just collapse all the other line, all the other layers, into one, and then you know, the whole. Uh, 2.4 gig of problems just disappears out into a nothingness because well you know he, he doesn't know he doesn't no longer need to tr to, to think anyway as you can see we're doing quite well 
We're now at the point where we are just, you know, in the third layer, uh, third, uh, third layer of um, drawing the lines or drawing the very crocodile-like lines. We're doing it very finely, so there is no need to worry about anything. We're still keeping in, uh, keeping everything in check. And once we're doing the once we're doing the blur tool, then you know you will see that everything is working comes all, all on place. Probably won't be able to do the blur tool today because well you know this thing takes a lot of time. Probably gonna take more than half an hour because of that's how textures work. <laughs> textures take like what most of the time two two hours to work around with if you don't have the right texture or not the right tool to do it for you. I should definitely, I should definitely clip my, uh, clip, uh, I d should definitely clip my, uh, clip my nails today because, well, they're getting a little bit too long. Don't want that to happen. Especially when you are working with this tool, uh, with this pencil, it's, uh, very noticeable when your nails are getting too long. It's not very handy dandy. Gets irritation everywhere. All right. So how do we get from point A to point B? Um, hmm. How do you get from point A to point B? It's quite easy though, really easy today. You know what the funny thing is, this is actually quite relaxing. Just, you know, me giving commentary on my own drawing, knowing where to go, knowing where not to go seeing everything working, seeing everything going towards one central goal. And that's the best thing about it, you know, we're we're just busy doing whatever we do what, when we do it. And the more we do this, the better it gets. Only downside is, well, you know, drawing itself takes a lot of time, lots of effort, lots of... Um, how do you say that? It takes a lot of time and lots of effort to get uh, where we are now. Because all of this takes, like, what? Probably two hours of work. And we want not, we, of course, we don't want to have all of this to be falling apart. And therefore, you know, we need to find a way to do so. But also my hand is already like getting exhausted from drawing the same thing all over again. But that's uh, that's normal, you know. We're draw we're drawing intensively to get to the next point. Because well, you know, we're drawing with the uh, we're drawing with precision, speed, acceleration, you know, all of that. Eventually our hand will get tired, or my hand at least. So that's when you need to call it a day, otherwise, you know, things might go bad. Mm. I did do some drawings today, but that was not intense at all. It was just, you know, fixing the little bits of uh, bone. <laughs> well, with when I say little bits of bone, it's actually a whole damn character of bones, so there you go. I had to find out, like, how do I get this bone to be in the right art style? Otherwise, you know, the art style was... It it was still in the right art style, don't get me wrong, but... It stood out too much. So I had to add a texture to it. So that it looked more... In the background. Of course, you know, I could have done, you know, the old-fashioned... Um, the old-fashioned blur tool, but that wouldn't work because how the character works, it's like, you know, it comes from behind and then grabs towards the end. So I had to do some little bit of a iffy uh, kind of moves. Uh, I am not good at compl uh, not good at uh, telling you how to do things because, well, you know, 
I like the grammar to do it. <laughs> I'm very bad at grammar. It's one of those things that is like... Uh, if you ever compare me to uh, somebody else who's talking Eng English, it's like... Well, he has a lot of breaks in it. Yes, because I constantly need to think about what I need to t tell while translating it, while talking to you, to to the pe people that are doing uh, that I'm doing it for, and that is like a very hard thing to do. Translating and explaining everything. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! This is why I like it, you know just a casual me doing absolutely relaxing work. And this is one of the most relaxing works I could ever get. It's just, you know, me drawing big giant tooths as uh, a representation of leaves. Well, of course, you know, the big the big boys in the area would be saying like, Why are you doing this? You're gonna ruin everything. This is not good. This is a bad idea. And I'm like, well, it's not a bad idea. It's just sometimes very badly made the idea of you know the idea of talking to somebody well you know not knowing exactly the right words for something is a is a challenge and uh, i don't mind going for that challenge even though it might l even though i might you know not explain properly towards those people about what i'm saying i'm still trying to get the 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 knowledge across and uh, I think that's already enough for me giving you people the inspiration to tell you what you need to do or what what you should do yeah, it's a decent idea it's a decent mindset it's not a mindset that you know I would go for all the time like you know people always say like well this sucks and this is why and I would say like yes this sucks and this is why but you know it does have some good sides to it unless there are some things that I don't think that I have a good side I would tell you immediately that's how open-minded I am actually I'm literally a I'm literally open book where to come when it comes to things like you know are you ever getting tired of being wrong and I'm like no I am not wrong I'm just seeing the thing differently and that's how you deal with smart asses I dealt with them in my own at my high school and I told them the word ha huh, in your face I knew it better than you and then they were like how is this possible how did he defeat me and I was like well I read it every single thing and I found this flaw of yours allow me to show you your flaw and totally and uh, break you while doing it well that or you know that's how it's supposed to go and according to my mind it went like that according to other people it went like that so I assumed that it went like that I did I did I did one even though you know it was not a very even though I, it was a very nice win I still feel proud of it because I proved somebody wrong well they always were the person that were you know saying that you're doing it wrong with their and then you prove and then you prove their and then you unproven the theory that's that's what I did and was not even you know a casual unproven theory no it was like well you're talking to me all the time that I did this wrong and then you know I came with a book and then according to article four eight five nine seven eight four nine four you did this wrongly therefore you know your whole uh, your whole hype your whole hypothetical question gets thrown out of the uh, thrown out of the window because they are wrong. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, I went I went a little bit uh, according to the law kind of guy on that part, but I had my blast. And it's nothing better than just seeing somebody gape mouth like they just saw something incredible and they have no words for it. I believe he was speechless for two uh, two weeks. To me, at least. So that's you know, it was a good side. I could finally, you know, focus on my uh, article that I had to write. 
Oh well, not article. It was the other thing. Um, well, it was an article. It was an article. It was a research article that I had to write. So therefore, you know, things work like that. But trust me, if you ever want to make friends, don't do such a di dick move of you know telling them the rules properly. Well, you know, shoving it in their face. <laughs> You're gonna make no friends with that. <laughs> and that's how I learn always. On the hard way of things, things always don't go as e as planned, but you're not supposed to. You need to be just kind to people. Even though if they uh, might be a little bit bad at, uh, at doing certain things, you know, you always need to say like, well, even if you cannot do that, you can still do this or whatever. I'm not. I am not gonna be trying to be mean to people. It's uh, It's not my thing. It's not my uh, my mojo that drives me. The things that drive me is like you know achieving things that I thought that would be you know very hard to do, and then still achieving them. The accomplishment of it. The feeling of seeing somebody improve. Oh man, those things. Those things are my favorite kind of things to do. Just doing. What I always do, just believe in things and then work around with it. <sighs> yep. A good old fashioned day of just draw, dr uh, drawing the bloody damn. the bloody damn leaves. Even though you know this might look a little bit, you know, different than the other ones, it's still the same uh, leaves. It's just, you know. A little bit further away because this one actually needs to be on the background so therefore I'm drawing this like that because you know once I'm using the blur tool then this will you know fade in the background and therefore you know it works anyway um so yeah trees very difficult things very hard things to accomplish Especially if you're busy with doing something else than drawing the tree. And I mean... I could have done something else, but... Nah. If I would have done that, things like this would not have, uh, have occurred. And I mean, really, this is all fun. It's lovely to, you know, see all of this going on right now giving my head a little bit of a cleaning drawing you know the things that I want to draw seeing how you know such drawings get better over time seeing how imp how improvement works and I must say I'm actually improving from the first drawing I did with this amount of heavy detail like you know two years ago the boot project, very important thing to draw, and I must say I'm very happy upon how you know the boot project went, even though you know the ha the the, ha the half of the information is skipped because well you know I only recorded once I went to start coloring in, even though you know now I'm actually coloring and I'm drawing so therefore you know it takes double time. Because I figured out that, you know, coloring and drawing in, uh, are important to do at the same time. Otherwise, you know, you might get lost in some things. So, uh, yeah. Um, I love it. Just double check a bit. We're already 89, 39 minutes in. Alright, 39 minutes. That's a, That's a decent amount. Almost 40, so you know, once we're hit to 50, we might be able to finish the, the drawing part. Of course, you know, there is no such thing as finishing it that quickly. We still need to figure out how to do everything, so therefore, you know, it's important that we do all the things that we do in in a very nice little way of time. Alright, and this is why, you know, it's very important that I'm doing this, because, you know, the more the more I work towards the end goal of getting these things properly done, the better it gets. Of course, you know, 
all of this works pretty well. And I'm very happy upon how the tree is getting there and how the leaves are getting there. It just takes a lot of time. And as you probably can see, you know, my hand is getting a little bit tired. Because, you know, I'm doing the constantly the same shaky movement. And this shaky movement does create the effect I want. Because once I'm doing the blur version of it, everything will just work fine. And I'm doing this version of it because, you know, this is the background and therefore, you know, it needs less detail. Even though, you know, I'm actually putting a lot of detail in it. But it's less detail than the other one. It's less uh, accurate. That's, that's a good word. That's a good word. Accurate. It's less accurate than the rest. Of course, you know, once the color is coming in, oh, everything is going to be just looking fine. It just takes a lot of time and effort. But yeah, um, I hope you are enjoying so far what I'm doing. Even though I'm just literally bl uh, telling on and on and on and on about things. And sometimes repeating myself, you know, I cannot help that. It's, uh, it's one of those things that probably can happen. Because yeah, I'm constantly working on a drawing and then also thinking, whoa. Thinking and drawing to, uh, at the same time. Hmm, that might not be, be a very good idea. Yes. Normally, when you draw and uh, when you think, well, normally when you draw, you just take a relaxing bath beforehand and then just start drawing. And then when you get exhausted because you did so much, you know that's when the time you can call it a day. But with this kind of drawing, you know, I, I always am like, phew, that was a drawing, all right. Even though you know it was only one hour, but. Oof, that was a drawing, all right. And then you know you get you get the point. This actually mentally exhausts me, uh, drawing like this, for such a long time because well you know the amount of things I do, the amount of things that need to be done. It takes a lot of pressure. And uh, today we're just busy doing the things that we want, and then one day you know uh, I believe. Tomorrow I will be recording some uh, some stuff that I want to do. In the first place, I'm gonna recording the uh, uh, how far I'm at, how far I am at the uh, drawing with uh, my beautiful uh, uh, sweater t-shirt. So yeah, gonna be doing that. So yeah, you can already see that we're halfway this drawing, and we're almost 50 minutes in, so therefore, you know, you can see that this thing actually took, like, what, almost half the, uh, half the thing. Almost 50 minutes in, yeah, we're almost there. We're at 43, so yeah, 50 minutes. Um, so yeah, after the hour mark has uh, stopped, it's all gonna be just me doing... You know, the coloring is going to be tomorrow, and then, you know, after that, uh, after the coloring, we will do the blurring, and then uh, we're trying to design the tree part of it. Of course, that's probably not going to be finished tomorrow, because, well, you know, the tree part also takes an hour. <laughs> so, yeah, um, mm, mm, yes, yes, lots of stuff, lots of stuff happening. And that is how this always works. It's a very funny thing to see that, you know, we're working on a drawing and we already see like, ah, well, this is going to be happening, this is going to be happening, this is going to be happening. And then when we're doing, working on that, you know, more things, more things occur. Of course, you need to be flexible about those things because otherwise, you know, you might end up on the wrong side of the bar. Which is a thing. Which is a thing indeed. And I must say myself, I'm very happy upon what I'm now achieving anyway. Alright. So what am I doing right now? Well, what I'm doing right now is very easy. 
I'm trying to do my very best to fix all the things that I did before. Just like that. Boom, baby. Hmm. Of course, we're gonna keep up with the, you know, uh, crocodilian tooth as the leaves, but it might look not like that in all the cases because, well, you know, we're doing this on low, uh, low graphics. No, not low graphics. Low uh, back place. Eh, I don't know how to call it. And we're just busy filling up the things, or filling up the places with, you know, our lovely little crocodile teeth. And the more we do, the better it gets, so, eh, you know, just like that. A uh, tiny little safe would not harm. Um, four minutes remaining before 50 hits. I might not be able to finish this just yet. And I don't want to rush this. So therefore, you know, I'm probably gonna call it, and then you know, we're working the rest, the half of the rest of it, the half of it, we will fix then tomorrow. Yeah, that, this is a very smart idea. It's a very nice idea, anyway. All right. And just like that, we can just do whatever we want. Ho 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 ho. And fixing. Alright. I'm gonna call it here a day. That's good enough. So yeah, um, as you can see, new part, new things, new ideas that need to be done. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna be in the background. So once this is done, I will show you what I, what's gonna be happening. I'm gonna put already the filter on, so no worries there. If I add this to it, this is gonna happen. This is all good. Because once we're adding then this back and this back, you can then see that how this is going to be happening. Uh, the idea is then that once the whole drawing is going to be there, the drawing, the three part right here, is going to be less detailed than the rest. Which is all good. Then once the three part is going to be an, uh, adding in as well, we can then add shading and all that stuff to it. So no need to worry here. And if there is some things that in places that are need to be a little bit less uh, black, yeah, we can just erase it a bit. All right. Um, I hope you all have enjoyed for today, and uh, thanks all for watching. And I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I wish you all a lovely day, and uh, bye.